This title confirms that the Joel Versku Pigeon family has become one of the top lofts in Belgium, especially after having won the title of second general champion of Belgium KBDB in 2011. Actions speak louder than words. It could be a perfect way to describe the achievements by the fancier from Ingelmanster in recent seasons. His racing pigeons performed very well throughout the season, which resulted in several titles. We wonder if this could be the most awarded pigeon family in Belgium. Ingelmanster is a municipality located in the Belgian province of West Flanders. The municipality comprises only the town of Ingelmanster proper and the village of Creek. As of January 1, 2006, Ingelmanster had a total population of 10,617. Ingelmanster is a small place in Belgium and can be easily explored within a day. There aren't many things to do and attractions to visit in this town. Also, being a small town, there are fewer accommodation options. People usually consider making a quick stop here before heading to the neighboring cities. You can halt here for a quick snack and take a little break from your journey. Father to Son Pigeons Joel Verskut and his wife Annie After he got married in 1978, he stayed in his parents' house. He was the only one of five sons who developed a passion in pigeons. His parents moved to an apartment but his father continued to take care of the pigeons. They raced in a partnership until somewhere in 1990. The old breed of his father was based on pigeons of the de Croix brothers from Rumbeek, with descendants of nearly all their top-class pigeons, including Merckx, de Blixem, the Hun, and Albert de Bays from Law. Some pigeons of Raoul and Xavier Verstret from Ustacker and Jules Regert from St. Amundsburg were added to the loft later on as well. He also used pigeons from Robert Dabelaire of Mark, which is not far away from Ingelminster, and the Steens, brothers from St. Peter's Lou. So this was not a family of middle-distance pigeons only. They own quite a few long-distance birds as well. That explains why they made their first steps in the long-distance competition in the early 1990s. This was an important step for the further development of the Joel Versku pigeon breed. Some other top-quality pigeons were obtained from Eddie Lutinez from Kruishudem, Georges Ledoux from Ittegem, Norbert Ali from Arsley, Patrick Hooflian from Wurtgem Petergem, Wilfried van de Malv from Hool and Van Elsacker Jepsen from Schild. These pigeons were crossed with the old basis of the Verskut breed and this combination turned this into a very successful loft at national level in Belgium. This combination has also bred the three top class breeding pairs and their excellent descendants that have won most of the top prizes in recent seasons. They have made the Verskut loft one of the most successful in Belgium. When certain breeding pairs appear to have great breeding qualities and breed several excellent racing pigeons, Joel keeps them together most of the time. Some of these couples have become the stock pairs in this loft that have bred several prize winners. Other pairs that could not breed successful descendants are usually given a different partner or can sometimes choose a new partner themselves. Why should we choose a partner for them? One of the very best pairs at the moment is ASBE 4 3176 83 7 cross Shakira BE 9 3127 24 6. This AS comes from a crossing of Ledoux with the Max line, Lutinez cross Wilfried van de Maal and A and R de Serre, and has won a first tours 533 pigeons, a fourth bribe 435 pigeons, a 48th national against 17,456 pigeons, a fifth Chateau Roux 619 pigeons and many more. Shakira comes from a crossing of Van Elsacker Jepsen cross Van de Maal. Joel Verskut developed into an internationally renowned pigeon fancier. His highly regarded AS dynasty has played a pivotal role in his successful career. AS and his descendants You cannot become a successful fancier overnight. A successful career is based upon two key elements that are interrelated, a good quality pigeon breed and a fancier who knows his craft. These two elements combined will lead to great results during the season. Just look around you. Every pigeon fancier that has managed to achieve great results in the national races has done so with a collection of top quality pigeons, which are usually based on one or more important bloodlines that have given several generations of talented racing birds and breeders. In addition, 
The fancier himself is someone who knows how to get the most out of his pigeon collection. He knows how to get his pigeons in shape and how to get them to stay in shape until the end of the season. A top quality breed has excellent resistance and good health, which allows them to stay fit easier and for a much longer period of time. If you want your breed to tick every box then you have to have a stringent selection procedure as well. The amazing AS dynasty has given a wide number of talented racing and breeding birds. This breed's first highlights came in 2013, with two national victories for C's, first national Brive, and Egan, first national Egan, and the title of second general champion of Belgium KBDB twice in just over two years time, 2011 and 2013. Both C's and Egan are grandsons of stock breeder AS. Supplier of National Ace Pigeons KBDB. And there are several more champions in this team besides the three national winners. The descendants of AS did great in the National Ace Pigeon Championships KBDB long distance as well. We begin with a direct son of AS, Harry BE 10 3082 539. Fifth Provincial Ace Pigeon Long Distance KBDB West Flander 2015 Eighth National Ace Pigeon Long Distance KBDB 2014 After his great performance in 2016, Joel did not want to take any risks, so he decided to move this talented racing bird to the breeding loft. It was the sign for another talented AS descendant to come to the fore. JIP won the title of first best yearling of Belgium over three long distance races people ranking as well as the title of third national ace pigeon long distance yearlings KBDB 2016. Each of these pigeons originates directly from the line of stock breeder AS, the most valuable bloodline in the Versku pigeon family. Joel did not sell his three national winners but instead transferred them to a special breeding box. Their task will be to create new generations of Versku racing birds. This bloodline has bred no less than three national first prize winners three provincial first prize winners, the best yearling of Belgium in the long distance, and a third and eighth national ace pigeon KBDB, all in three seasons time. This is arguably one of the strongest bloodlines across the world. Joel has been officially retired since October 2016, which means he has plenty of time to, to spend in his loft. Working night shifts and running a full-size pigeon loft can really drain you. It takes a man of steel to get through the racing season with no more than 3 to 4 hours of sleep a day. This is not sustainable if you are not extremely motivated. Joel managed to pull it off, and how? He was second general champion of Belgium twice, in 2011 and 2013, and he won three national first prizes, Brive 2013 with G's, Egan 2013 with Egan, and Pau 2016 Suzanne. Joel had the best yearling of Belgium of 2016 with Jep over three national long-distance races, people ranking. This is quite a Palmer's dominance from Tours. It goes without saying that Joel is now eager to get even better results as a pensioner. This pigeon loft combines a determined and passionate fancier with strong willpower and a team of highly capable racing birds that are in great shape. We saw a first hint of the Verskut racing birds and their enormous potential already in the first few weeks of the national racing season. A first outstanding result came on 20th of May, in the provincial race from Tours, the second and third place, sixth and twelfth provincial were won by the first and second nominated, full brothers Barry and Armando. The stars of this team were then lined up for Limoges, where Armando was again the fastest of the team in Ingelminster, national hero in Brive. It was that same team that was basketed for Brive after completing tours and Limoges. It proved a hard but fair race in sun-drenched conditions and a headwind. Apparently, this suited the strong birds from Ingelminster really well. 
they dominated the race at national level with an impressive and overwhelming overall result. The first and second nominated were again the fastest birds of the team, with Barry and Armando finishing in 9th and 10th national. It was a sweet revenge for Barry after he failed to get a good result in Limoges. These two racing birds stem from the same breeding pair and they both have a long list of achievements. Armando originates from top class breeding pair Picasso Cross Luna as well. Contador, the fourth pigeon to get clocked from Brive, is quite a talented bird as well. Contador has several provincial and national top results on his Palmers. Both Barry. Armando and Contador are excellent racing birds, and they're the current leaders of the long-distance team. Joel leads his team with an iron fist, which means he baskets and races his pigeons a lot. He then selects his team based on their results. In other words, Joel cares about the results and nothing else. He wants pigeons that perform well, irrespective of their pedigree or their parents. And we can't argue with that. This selection approach allowed Joel to create a solid pigeon breed that is among the strongest long-distance families in Belgium. His list of achievements says it all. He excelled in a demanding race from Bribe at national level, with the same team that had already had a very successful race from Tours. Everyone will agree that Joel Verskoot has been one of the figureheads, one of the leading names in the national long-distance competition in 2017. His loft is home to some of Belgium's strongest long-distance pigeons of this season, and that includes his second, third, and sixth national ace pigeon KBDB of 2017. An astounding 0.8134 coefficient with six prizes over three races. The Versku pigeons were clearly in great form in 2017, and this led to an impressive list of achievements, including several national top prizes and top ten places. These are remarkable results indeed, and it made them a likely candidate for a number of championship titles as well. These are record-breaking results. Keep in mind that up until 2012 the national championships long-distance KBDB were based on three races, instead of four. Take it from us, no other fancier has ever done better than Joel Verskut in the national championships KBDB with three races. Napri, Second National Ace Pigeon All-Round KBDB 2017 Napri is one of the great champions of Team Joel Verskut, who has great confidence in this pigeon. He was his first nominated for Cares, Jarnik and Tull. Napri did not fail, he won a top prize in each of the three races, winning a 17th, 21st and 69th National. This pigeon is yet another descendant of the phenomenal AS bloodline. Armando Third National Ace Pigeon Long Distance KBDB 2017. The next top bird and long distance champion in the racing team from Ingelminster is Armando. This racing bird did really well in Limoges 1, Brive, Limoges 2, and Libourne, and it resulted in a bronze medal in the National Ace Pigeon Championship Long Distance KBDB, making him third best long distance bird of Belgium in 2017. In fact, he is by far the country's strongest long-distance bird over two national long-distance races. Joel Verskut has a lot of common sense when it comes to racing pigeons. His own prize winners and national champions are very dear to him. They are not for sale. The fancier from Ingelminster learned an important lesson. You should never sell your best breeders, only their youngsters. Why turn to other lofts for pigeons that you can find in your own collection, says Joel. With this in mind, he developed a solid foundation of pigeons based on his own bloodlines, breeding youngsters from his own champions. The most important bloodlines in this team are that of his national first prize winner C's, Agan and Suzanne, Super Crack Harry, and top breeders Shakira, Deprez, Biba and Picasso. The current quartet of champions with Armando, Barry, Napri and Contador are likely to follow the same path. Although Joel is thinking of keeping them in the racing team for another year, to try and win another national top result with them in the next year, a national victory, a national ace pigeon title or perhaps another national championship title. All is possible with such a group of talented racing birds, who showed their potential on a weekly basis in 2017. The team from Ingelminster hopes to turn the next year into an equally successful year with the help of some other talented two- or three-year-old long-distance birds. 
hard work and determination does pay off. This team has the potential to turn the succeeding years into another brilliant season. Thank you for watching. Until next time.